Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I thought I would do a shop tour. You know, it's not exactly perfect and, and as I would like it to be, but it's as good as it's gonna get for the moment. So I thought I would show you around. So let's get started. This is what you see when you first walk up to my space within the tunnel. And I have a mannequin up on the counter and usually have one of my very colorful dresses on there. Um, these are all the accessories that I sell. So the necessary clutch wallets and the necklaces. Uh, this is the countertop, which is what the customer will see. I have another mannequin, which I usually put the current project that I'm working on on. And then I have the ready to wear rack, which is all Trashy Diva and Bernie Dexter styles, which I absolutely love. Next up we have my pattern collection and I have this in a IKEA Benno CD tower but I've definitely outgrown that and I need to work out a new solution. Up the top there I have my indies then we go through to big four and down the bottom here is where I keep all the PDFs and the extra patterns like as I say I have uh, not got room for in the Benno CD tower. Definitely need a new solution for those. And this is the start of the uh, fabric stash. I've got some fancy satin, satins and stuff on the right. There's a uh, coat making thing things in the middle and one of the layers of cotton that I've got on the left there and um, we then moving uh, right to the top it's again cotton knits and lace cotton scubas and sari fabrics etc with some jersey added in we've got some cottons and rayons on the left the middle box there is um, the current customers projects that I'm working on and then on the right I have uh, my collection of silks suede and leather skins so in these boxes um, which I got from TK Maxx and WH Smiths um, working from left to right on the top box is a whole bunch of uh, pre-cut necessary clutch wallets the next box down is where I keep all my lining fabrics and the very box at the very bottom the biggest one is full of UFOs and I'm really pleased that I got that out of one of the cupboards and into a box so to hide my shame and then on top of the IKEA units I've got the tiny tiny small box at the top is empty and then the dark blue box has got all my vintage patterns in it next up we have um, the just over my window I have an IKEA rail and that's where I keep all my viscous scissors I get some some, there's some tissue paper there that I've cut up for sewing with knits, um, some little pots from Ikea where I keep my pencils etc etc. Um, there's a roll of pattern making paper at the very back there, That's I got that from More Plan. So inside the cupboard on the top shelf I've got um, bags of fabric samples uh, from Contrado, Spoonflower and then from uh, places like Truro Fabrics and Stone Fabrics when I've got samples in for, to show customers. I've got uh, Berta style uh, carbon paper which I use for pattern making and tracing uh, markings onto actual garments when they're cut out. I've got a um, clear Muji box there which is full of Swarovski crystals which I will show you inside of a bit later. Roll of elastic and boxes and boxes and boxes of trims. The next shelf down is um, really useful boxes and they are full of different lengths of zips and then over to the right those ones all have buttons in them. The next very skinny shelf down is my Benina jumbo hoop and also the table that comes, um, the slot on table that comes with my Benina machine. I don't use that very often because obviously I have a horn sewing table that I will show you later. And the very bottom of that cupboard is all the different bolts of fabric that I stock in my shop. Um, there are a few ones that I um, actually ha need to put up on the shop but the majority of them are up there and I will leave a link in the description bar down below for you to have a look if you'd like. So I thought I'd show you some closer details of this box um, from the cupboard because there's some gorgeous things in there. This is the trim that I got from the Knitting Stitching Show. This is from Saudi Arabia and it's beautiful. This one is from the Festival of Quilts that I showed you last year. I've got a whole bunch of ribbons from my grandma's collection. Uh, they've got some appliques um, that I will put on bodices. Um, I went a little bit crazy on Etsy and got quite a few of these. Um, I really like this black one. I think I might put that on the back of a dress instead of the front. Um, this is the original trim from my sister-in-law's wedding dress. This is black diamante trim from Saudi. Um, oh, and this is another bodice applique that I got from the Festival of Quilts last year. Lots of lovely goodness in here. So I thought I'd, again I would show you what I've got in this little drawer unit. The drawer unit is from Muji and it's full of Swarovski crystals and sew on beads. The majority I bought in Saudi Arabia, in fact I think I bought all of them in Saudi Arabia and I've organised them in colourway. Um, so I've also got some 
crystal Swarovski buttons in there. Um, oh, I love that color, that's so pretty. Total magpie, so when I went to the shop in Saudi, I was just so happy. Um, I've got some strung beads here, and then these crystals are going to be used for what is going to be my Burberry inspired trench coat, which I'm still looking for the perfect pattern for, and I'm loving the new deer and doe one, so I might have to get that. Next up we've got um, where I keep my ironing board, that's just underneath the um, window, um, although I do pull it out when I'm iron ironing lengths of fabric. I have my sleep ham there, I have my organza pressing cloth, I've got my tailor's ham, um, just a bog standard iron really, and in the background over there you can also see my tailor's clapper that my dad bought me just before Christmas last year, which I love. As you move further along that wall I have um, the pin board that I keep lots of photos of different things that I've made. I have my kittenish behaviour sign, I've put some hooks up so I've got the mini Ikea ironing board there and I also keep my tape measures and the little sewing room plaque that I got from a secret Santa a couple of years ago. And it, right in the corner we have the super glamorous changing room which is actually just a rattan screen but it works really well and my first dress form which is a lady valet, really 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 want one with the collapsible shoulders though so that will be the next big purchase I make I think. Moving around to my cutting table, these are two trestle legs from from Ikea and you can adjust the height of them this is the highest they go and it's kitchen counter height which is perfect for me it's a 75 by um, 1. 75 centimeter wide by 1.5 meter long tabletop from Ikea and underneath that I keep all my large bolts of fabrics and project bags full of what I want to be working on that month this is not ideal and I will be changing it I want to get another tabletop and I want to get some more of the square units and um, I put those on wheels so that the table is movable because um, at the moment I'm really struggling to cut out fine fabrics on top of that because it's, it's just not wide enough but it's working kind of for now. Next up we have the back of my countertop so the customers see the plain white side and this is what I get to see it's a whole bunch of Alex drawer units and cupboard units then some capita legs from Ikea and one of the Linmon tabletops which is 60 centimeters wide by two meters long underneath that I keep my tissue paper for wrapping orders the inserts for my horn sewing cap it and uh, my pincushion and also my embroidery unit right down the end there. So in the top drawer I keep all my collection or some of my collection of bias bindings. Um, I really don't like it when they come on boards like that. I much prefer them when they come on reels. Um, I've got smaller lengths that I've sort of five meters or so that I've bought from Etsy and eBay, eBay and also piping and cording and ribbon. So the next drawer down is um, a bit of a catch-all for my random threads um, that haven't really got any kind of um, other place. Um, so there's yeah bit of bit of everything in there. So the next drawer down is my it's slightly more organized. It's my polyester threads. I've got two layers of these. Um, and they come in a ver huge variety of colors, which I use for embroidery as well as sewing. So next up, I've got my collection of narrow products. So horsehair braid, there is twill tape, there's webbing for bags and aprons, there's elastic in there, there's ribbon, lots of different di bits and pieces. And in the very bottom drawer, I keep all of the bits and pieces that go with my Benina 830. Um, there's all the embroidery hoops in here. Um, I've got my Benina stitch regulator. I've also got the dongle that goes with the embroidery six um, program that I've got. Um, so yeah, basically just all the little bits and pieces that don't fit in my sewing cabinet. Okay, so next up we have all my stuff for labelling products. So we've got the swing tags, baker's twine, the little pair um, safety pins. We've got the customs forms for sending things abroad and there's pillow boxes and uh, bar tags for the jewellery. Next drawer down, we have a whole bunch of cutting tools in here. There's my rotary cutters. Uh, small scissors. I also have um, one of the little mini clover irons and the different heads that go with that. I also have the self-covered -co button maker which is brilliant and my collection of clover wonder clips which I've definitely stolen some of my mum's as well so I need to give her those back. So next up we have a drawer full of really pretty wrapping paper so if anyone ever wants their stuff gift wrapped this is what they will get. I've um, got KP Boast cards and stickers which go in with mail orders. Next up we have um, address labels and also large carrier bags so for anyone that orders anything or buys anything in 
comes to the shop that's what they get to take their cut their order home in and then the last drawer is rolls and rolls and rolls of packing tape um i also have clear sellotape in there for pdf uh, making but i definitely need to order some more because i'm nearly running out in the first cupboard um i have super expensive iron that still is not working it's been fixed so now it makes steam but um it just unless you're having it on high steam it just pees out lots of hot water there's my pressing mitt my sleeve head in there and then at the bottom is the most important part of the cupboard is the snack cupboard which is where i keep my drinks and chocolate snacks and in the final cupboard we have all of the coat hangers that i use for the ready to wear stuff and about 500 meters of curling ribbon everybody needs that at the bottom there is my banana um, sewing machine cover which I don't use very often which is why it's in the cupboard. Up the top we have the threads that I keep out um, which I use most often. This is actually a nail polish um, display unit that I got from Amazon and then in the drawer unit I have bag making supplies. So this spot, this drawer is a whole bunch of random pieces. This is um, double cap rivets from my, my rivet press. This little drawer has the actual screws um, that you're meant to secure the rivet press to the table with. I've not done that yet. Um, this one is bag making supplies. We've got lobster claws and yeah, this is not sturdy. Oh look, here are the turn locks. I have those in four different colors. Oh, won't stay still. Oh, bluebell in the background. And then this bottom drawer is where I keep all my different lengths and styles of zips, which are for bag making. This is the rivet press that my dad got me for Christmas. Um, he got it from eBay and the new someone thought you needed to see how rivet presses work. Yes, you press the handle. I know you've seen me open this um, horn sewing table up before and you've seen me do it and um, speed it up like this but I couldn't resist doing it again when the lighting was slightly better and ta -da! this is actually a bracelet display unit that I got from Moreplan but we've got key fobs on it and these are an amazing stash buster project you only need a 12 by 3 meter strip of fabric highly recommend those next up is the uh, small collection of jewelry that I sell these are all semi-precious stones in different shapes and they're on silver sterling silver plated chains um, and they're beautiful and apparently the new someone felt that they needed to look artistic as well there you go so this is what the shop front looks like when you approach my portion of the tunnel um, all the blue boxes at the bottom have got fabric scraps in them packing boxes and cleaning products and then we've got some of my um, necklaces on display and necessary clutch wallets and then on the top there's more necklace displays and then a digital photo frame of which I've uploaded everything that I've ever made which is really fun and I do get lots of people coming and watching to see what comes up next this is how I display the necessary clutch wallets that I've made um, as sort of ready to wear equivalent um, it's on a kind of clear acrylic um, set of steps there's um, an autumn one a necessary clutch wallet mini in cherries and then a Halloween inspired one um, which I absolutely love I really hope you've had enjoyed having a look around my sewing studio I will be doing some more detail on my fabrics and patterns very soon um, if you'd like any more details about anything please let me know in the comments but down below if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!